Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Vince and I post on this channel every single week talking about options trading, teaching you guys how to trade options, sharing some option trading strategies, and sharing the trades that I take on the channel. So if you guys are interested in that, want to learn a little bit more about options, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So as you guys may know, we're almost hitting 10,000 subscribers on the channel. So first of all, thank you so much for the support. And second, yes, there will be a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you guys want to make sure not to miss that, first press that bell notification down below and of course subscribe to the channel so that you're around when I go ahead and announce that giveaway. So if you guys have been following the channel or you're in the Discord chat, then you've probably realized by now that yes, I do like to trade Tesla options. Unfortunately, the premiums are a little bit more expensive so it can turn away some smaller traders. It also is quite volatile, so it can be a riskier play. But if you guys are watching Tesla on a consistent basis, then you probably realize that it does trade in consistent patterns. When Tesla consolidates, it really stays sideways. And when Tesla decides to move and turn on the afterburners, it really has some monster days. Now, what I've realized after trading Tesla for a pretty long time is that the biggest moves are not always during the market. There's times where Tesla has some really big moves pre-market and make some really big gap ups. After noticing this trend, I decided that it would be good to take advantage of these moves. And in the past, I've traded Tesla holding it overnight anticipating that gap up. I went ahead and I did this this week and I went ahead and made a really nice return. So in today's video guys, I'm gonna go ahead and break down this pattern that I do see on Tesla. I wouldn't call it a strategy to use. I know some of you guys may give me some comments down below that it's not a real strategy, which I agree it is not, but it's a pattern that I've found in Tesla that I have been using to make some really nice profits. We'll break down the strategy. I'll show you guys the chart patterns that I've been seeing. And then we'll go ahead and I'll show you the trade that I made. Before I roll the intro, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned with some future videos. All right, guys, so I have the Tesla charts pulled up. And what we're going to be looking for is Tesla on a really nice bullish uptrend with a nice positive green day following a really nice gap up the next morning. When Tesla has a strong day, it closes near the highs, it does tend to gap up, and there's a way that you can take advantage of this. I'm gonna go into the charts and I'm gonna break down how I've been taking advantage of this and just showing you what I've observed after watching Tesla for quite a bit. All right guys, so I have the Tesla chart pulled up here. This is the five minute chart over the last 10 days. Where we're gonna start is when Tesla announced that stock split. So since the stock split, we've seen some strong momentum. And that's the type of catalyst that will get Tesla moving in the market as well as during the pre-market and the after hours. So we had the stock split and since then we've had some strong momentum. So we had the day after the stock split, a really strong day up over, let's see if we see how much it was up that day, up over 6% that day, closing near the highs here. It gave some back, but it still closed near those highs. Now what you can see is the after hours were strong and so is the pre-market, a really nice gap up. So from the close the previous day to the gap up in the pre-market, it went up around another three and a half percent. So if you were to buy some call options near the close of the day here and ride it expecting a pump after hours into the pre-market, you would have made some nice profits. Now again, the following day, we had another green day. It was somewhat flat, but we can see another green day closing up around 1%. It gave back some of it intraday. But if you went ahead and you purchased some call options near the end of the day here, you can see again, a really nice gap up pre-market. Almost all of the move it made was during these pre-market hours. So from the close that previous day to the pre-market high, that was around 3%. And then near the open was around two and a half percent. So another 2% here in the after hours. Right here, Tesla had a sideways day. So in this situation, I probably wouldn't have taken this trade, but what you guys can see the following day, a really big pre-market gap up and then followed by a strong green day. So in the, in the last five consecutive days here, Tesla has gapped up more than 2% every single day in the pre-market. Now this is the day that I went ahead and I took advantage of this. So we had an extremely strong green day here from, mar from market open to market close up over 10% on Tesla, which I thought would warrant a really big morning gap up. And what we can see is we stayed sideways after hours and we had a huge market gap up almost up to 1940 a share opening just around 1900. So I went ahead and purchased call options here on the, this is the 17th 
and then I sold it here on the 18th. Before we get into my trade, I first wanna go ahead and overview what I'm looking at here. This is Tesla on a strong upward momentum path and every single morning that it's had, it's gapped up quite a bit. Now, if you guys want to take advantage of something like this, I'd recommend putting in a very small amount because again, this is not a very consistent strategy. It's not a 100% type strategy and holding options overnight is pretty risky. There's nothing you can do if it goes ahead and gaps down in the morning. So putting in a small amount, something that you're comfortable losing, maybe three, four, five percent of your portfolio. If Tesla has a strong green day, if you see it closing near the highs, then you can throw in a little bit of money, maybe three or four percent of your portfolio and try to ride that morning gap up. So now getting into my trade, I went ahead and I zoomed in on the 17th and the 18th, the day that Tesla moved 10%, which was this Monday. And then Tuesday is when I went ahead and sold this. So we can see Tesla gapped up quite a bit that day goes near the highs and I went ahead and I took that trade. So if we go ahead and look at the one minute and go to the last five days, let's go ahead and look at where I went ahead and I took this trade. So zooming in to Monday and I'll pull up my trade confirmation. So pulling up my trades here, what we can see, I purchased one Tesla August 21st, 2100 call for $675, so $6.75 per contract. Now I went small in this trade, far out of the money because I wasn't willing to risk a lot of money going into the close. I was anticipating to hold this overnight and I wasn't gonna go ahead and throw in a really large amount of money into this. I stayed close to expiration so that I could take advantage of that move and a short term spike in the stock price. You can see that I paid $6.75 and the next day right here on the 18th in the morning, I went ahead and I sold this for $17.74. So just about $1,100 profit holding Tesla overnight and taking advantage of that market gap up. So I purchased this at 12.12, which was right around here. So 12.12 is right here. Tesla had a nice head and shoulders here. It gave back some gains and then started to, started to curl up again. And I was jumping into this right here at 12.12. So I purchased this at 12.12 p.m. and I went ahead and notified the Discord members. So if I pull this up, what I can show you guys right here. So just grab these. $6.75, these are the August 21st, 2100 calls. And I let everyone know that I'll be holding these into tomorrow. And you know, luckily, you know, during the same day, those options were already up 100% before the market closed. So notify this into the Discord chat. If you guys wanna join the group, it's gonna be the first link in the description below. So I held these through the day. It closed really nicely. You can see it closed pretty much at the high over here. And what we can see the next day we had a monster gap up in the pre-market. Now, if it held these levels, 1940, obviously I would have made a whole lot more money. It did give back some of the gains and it opened just around $1,900 a share. So what we can see is when, when the market opened, it did gap down pretty quickly over here. And that's when I started to scale out of this trade. My goal for the trade was just to hold it for that pre-market gap. And I stuck to my plan and I went ahead and I got out and took my profit $1,100 on this trade holding it overnight. So guys, I hope that that quick explanation and illustration there on the charts gives you a good idea of what I've been observing on Tesla. Most new traders, they go out there and they try to find that perfect strategy that does really not exist. And I think, and I strongly believe that going on the charts, finding a pattern that you have found and trying to take advantage of it and testing it is much better than trying to search for that perfect strategy. Now, obviously this pre-market gap up that I've been noticing is not going to happen every time on Tesla. And that's why it is still crucial to have proper risk management. So if the trade does go against you, that you can survive and you can move on to the next trade. I hope that you guys take this video, learn from it, go ahead and test it yourself. Look at the charts, look at other stocks, see if it's something that you're finding on those charts as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, get us to 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all of the support. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.